Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video I'm going to be taking you through CAD Yen as prices forming a consolidative pattern after an impulsive phase. Now CAD Yen is an interesting market at the moment. If we take just a step back and have a little look at it from a fundamental point of view, we do have some factors that could affect this market this week and if I just bring over the news for the week you can see that uh, we have a Bank of Canada monetary policy report and uh, an interest rate hike potentially to come this week. It's forecasted, so typically a forecasted move uh, does happen. And uh, it's looking at this as a potential uh, 75 basis points jump from the Bank of Canada, which is a fairly aggressive move. So that's Wednesday, uh, currently on Monday. So looking for potentials of this market to move this week. Uh, we also have a press conference as well, which could affect the market. Now, Bank of Japan aren't really doing much in terms of uh, anything to do with their interest rates. They're going to keep interest rates the same pretty much and they're not really looking to hike anytime soon. Now what's quite, quite interesting about the pattern that's forming is that we had a similar one form quite recently. So we had uh, an impulsive phase down through here. The market then formed a bit of a sort of squeeze pattern with the market making those lower highs uh, before breaking out to the upside through here. We're getting a similar pattern here. The market is making lower highs, uh, not quite lower lows this time like it did there. We're getting higher lows in the market, but we're approaching this range top again where the market found some resistance most recently. So what we could expect is on the news to get a breakout of this pattern, whether it be a breakout of the lows or a breakout of the highs. Now, when the market is in a consolidated phase, so let's just take a look at this one down through here, for instance. What I particularly look for, or what is most predictable, is price bouncing from the high of it to the low of it, okay? So once you started to see this kind of pattern form, you'd be looking for price to bounce from the highs, okay? And then bounce from the lows, okay? So you'd be looking to get in long over here, out, down through here, long through there's, sorry, in short from there, in short from there, looking to basically trade that consolidative pattern. So price has come back up to the high. So what could we expect? Well, we could actually expect another move to the downside in the short term, okay? We could see a little bit of a pullback here in this consolidative pattern. And what you're looking for is price to squeeze, and we'll probably see this until that news event, whether we see price pop to the upside or whether we see price pop to the downside. Now, if a hike is forecasted and they hike by 75 basis points, usually that is what they call um, already kind of uh, predicted in the market, okay? So there's not really a surprise there. So often it's called what they call, sorry, priced in, okay? So what we could actually see is the Canadian dollar weaken on that news, okay? We may get a spike out originally, but then but then we could expect actually a move back to the downside. Either way, we've got this consolidative pattern and it's showing us that the market is within a pattern that you can likely trade in the short term and then trade in the long term if we were to see a breakout. So what would I be looking for this now? Well, if it was me, I'd be looking at this lower time frame. I'd be trying to identify the area where selling pressure came in last time. And you can see if I just highlight these highs here, you can see that the market found resistance and aggressive selling came into the market, okay? So what I would be looking for ideas around this area to potentially trade back down towards this trend line support because I've got an area here where we're at resistance, where sellers came into the market. So I'm looking for a very similar thing here. And you can see there's kind of a double top in there. If I was to drop down into an hourly time frame, yeah, look, you can see a nice little double top pattern starting to form here in the market where we're rejecting that previous structure. So it makes sense to look for ideas around this point to trade back down towards these 104.20s in line with this consolidative pattern. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a lot. If you did, leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more Forex trading content. And I shall speak to you in the next video.